everybody, Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Thornton Zoo, where we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of continue building our primate house here. If you remember from the last episode, um, we got to, uh, I showed off the uh, lemur exhibit there, the kind of uh, concrete, rugged looking uh, lemur exhibit. And uh, then we also added in a few uh, little uh, smaller enclosures as well. And uh, what did we add? We added a, um, a scorpion and uh, one of the spiders, the opposite, the not bird eater spider. Which one is that one? I can't remember. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, we went ahead and added those in, and now we're just kind of uh, continuing right where we left off, basically. So we're coming out of that cave system, which you can see just to the left right there before we uh, jump into this right here. Um, and uh, we had this big square empty plot right here. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to um, add in just a, a little waterfall feature um, with a bunch of um, tropical living plants just to uh, kind of um, keep re-enhancing that tropical theme and uh, vibe as you continue walking through um, this really, really uh, big... Uh, um, uh, primate house there so um, we get that going if you don't know where the uh, waterfalls are I've seen a few people on um, reddit and Facebook and you name it, all the socials there that I try and keep up with with the uh, planet zoo stuff um, a lot of people don't really know how to get the um, the waterfalls and if you go into your construction tab um, you'll see I think it's in the lower left hand corner I can actually check because I have planet zoo up right now um, I think it's in construction tab yeah it's special effects if you go through there and just highlight over um, these all look exactly the same um, but you'll uh, you'll find that uh, some of them are marked for waterfalls and um, if you put those down you have to have the game running make sure the game is uh, uh, not paused um, but let the game run and um, you'll see uh, the different waterfall effects for it there so um, but yeah for our build here we're uh, adding in some staff doors there as you can see and uh, utilizing um, the barriers as walls here and um, I can't remember I think it was it was someone on my discord or maybe the bro nation discord um, I don't I had never really thought of using the barriers as walls for some reason in my head I had it um, thought out that if you place down a barrier that it would invalidate if it was just like a single like pain like that basically but turns out it doesn't you can use them as walls so TIL and maybe today you learned as well so um, yeah you can use those as walls there so yeah that kind of finishes out that little uh, waterfall slash um, little not terrarium. I don't even know what you would call that. Just garden area. So, um, and then I wanted to add it in one more exhibit. We had this um, one last little um, square uh, nook right here. Cut it very well. I, I originally, you see me kind of fiddling with it here. Um, I was still kind of fiddling with the idea of doing like we did with the lemur exhibit, where um, we kind of added in this uh, glassed in, you know, kind of like a conservatory. You kind of did like a conservatory there with the glassed in um, biome of the tropical plants there, but decided against it and just wanted to keep this uh, one last exhibit where we add in a boa constrictor and um, try and sanction it off here using these um, um, these planters. These I love the planters that they give us. They give us a really uh, for our frontier that is <laughs> uh, frontier gives us a really really big selection of planters uh, to choose from and the great thing is is that you know they're not attached to a grid they're free form so um, what I did there is I um, took about three of them I believe and uh, flipped them on each other and uh, stacked them tall and you get these kind of nice looking um, uh, stacked planters there so um, something else I did really quick and those of you that um, have maybe never played a planet um, you know series game before like uh, planet coaster um, a way to block the guests from walking through objects so let's say you have a big like that room right there that little nook that we have that is all um it's all path underneath of it except for where the exhibit is so people can kind of walk freely through the um planters by themselves because they don't actually block people but what you can do and i hope we get this in the real game um or the actual full release we for the full uh, in planet coaster we got barriers that would block people but for now we don't have those in uh, planet zoo but what you can do is put down garbage bins um you can put down garbage bins benches um, and I think there might be a few other things, but I can't remember. But um, anyways, yeah, those two are the main ones. Uh, garbage bins, especially because they are nice and small. Um, so we just kind of sunk those um, into the uh, um, the planters there, and then you uh, then people kind of walk around it. You kind of can navigate them to uh, walk where you would like them to. So um, as we're moving on here, um, you kind of see that we're starting to enclose the whole thing. I kind of realized, like where I was walking, looking through everything, I was like, man, it just doesn't look quite right. What's oh yeah, I don't have the roof on the thing. <laughs> so. I was I started to put the roof on and oh my gosh let me tell you um, we're gonna get a lot better looks of it in the real time 
here. Um, I did a lot of detail work uh, off camera. Um, the uh, time lapse is going to be ending here in a, just a few seconds there, but I did a lot of detail work on the inside, and you're going to get some great views um, with this new roof structure and the glass panels there. So uh, yeah, the, this uh, time lapse is about done. So I'll see you over in the real time in just a few seconds there. All right, so here we are inside the main entrance plaza of the zoo. We're gonna start here because I did add um, just a few things um, to the entrance plaza, um, and then we'll kind of make our way into the uh, big old primate house right back there. So the first thing that I added in, um, you kind of see just a little bit there. It is uh, just added in a little um, a, a little seating area, basically just a little uh, picnic seating area. Um, that there it is so <laughs> kind of use a mixture of these uh the african modern kind of set there i um, really like these uh signs that we got um I, I think these are part of the um the new world set there and uh, mixed in the classical um glass pieces here um, i had some somebody on uh, reddit i think it was ask um i posted a picture on reddit of the uh um the big building here and they asked where the glass pieces came from but yeah that's all from the classical set which you have to research with your uh, mechanics in the workshop so um yeah there's a little uh, seating area there so there you go and then let's go ahead and we'll make our way uh when you tell you what we'll just kind of walk it right we'll skip the lemurs because we already saw them we'll kind of fast walk through the it's getting pretty popular in here um we'll fast walk through our little area here it's kind of nice so you can kind of see how it's opening up i did go back and forth between wanting to close all this off and leave it open and i think it looks really neat with it um all open like that so there you go down into our little cave ish area Oh, oh! there were some vandals. I have a lot of vandals, actually. <laughs> I need to address that. And then here's our uh, little waterfall area. There you go there. And then you come around and here's our staff doors. And that does actually lead back, you know, into our staff area. And this works really well because um, you have our, this is the entrance to the lemur exhibit. This goes, you know, back over to the lemur, or the entrance area over that way. Uh, this goes into the mandrel exhibit, which we're about to see, and then this goes right here to the um, exit, which you'll see in just a second as well. So this is a really nice central hub little area like that, so that worked out really well. Um, and then we're coming around here. Looks like someone knocked over my my invisible uh, trash can to block people, but... <laughs> and they broke this. I have a really bad problem with uh, vandals. We're really going to have to take care of that. I'll take care of that off camera out there. So let's see if we can see the uh, boas or if they're uh, even in there. Um, it's always so... Oh, is that is that him right there? It is. Look at There he is. He's a lot easier to find than the... Um, the uh, spiders and the other creepy crawlies and stuff, but there he is. Beauty. What up, Butte, Clark? Oh. They're pumped about it. Oh, you hackers! Did you see them? Dang it. I'm gonna have to call someone about that. But anyways, as you come up here, I really like that you get a little bit of a boom reveal into the mandrel exhibit here. So this was taken, um, all of this again, I've, I think I mentioned in the last episode, um, but I mentioned that uh, all this has taken heavy inspiration from the Brookfield Zoo um, Tropic House. Um, and they have um, a lot of primate um, exhibits in there. And um, one of them in particular, I think it is just their, like their apes, I think. Um, but anyways, um, theirs is just like this, where it has this really cool waterfall that kind of comes down. And um, I made it so that the monk, uh, the uh, mandrels can cl climb across here and there's a little bedding and they sleep over there sometimes and stuff. But this is kind of their main area here. And um, just like in the Brookfield Zoo version, um, they have a path that kind of cuts right across the thing. And um, you, you get some really amazing views with it. So, um, but yeah, so here is their little um, exhibit, little uh, place there. So they've already um, uh, reproduced. They've already had uh, two little babies here. So we have a uh, little baby mandrel there. There you go. <laughs> and then our big, uh, big girl. It's about nap time, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but we will uh, walk across the bridge here. But yeah, again, you get some really cool views both ways here of uh, down on the water there and um, across to all their, uh, their play area and stuff like that. So you come down this way and um, 
Get some really nice ground level views here from the glass. And you exit out. Oh, I didn't put a door. Note to self, put a door. You exit out here. So, and uh, there you go. You can kind of see where you exit out over this way. But here is the entire structure from the um, from an aerial view. And it is just gargantuan. <laughs> it's pretty massive. And I really like the um, the little the view that you get. Like, not that you would ever see this unless you were, I don't know, Superman. But um, the view you get from down, um, from out here. Because you can see everyone actually, you know, walking. And actually see some mandrels running around every once in a while. And it's just really interesting, you know, to see it from this perspective um, here. So, again, if you haven't already, I really do recommend or uh, maybe... In, um, post I'll try and remember to add in a picture here but definitely look up the uh, Brookfield Zoo Tropic House um, it was the first of its kind um, where um, it was just like a giant you know house or big habitat like that put inside to that kind of uh, extent and stuff like that built in like the mid 80s I believe or, or the late 80s but yeah very impressive structure so um, definitely wanted to take inspiration from that there so um, but yeah that's gonna go ahead and do it there I think for future plans oh don't mind this by the way <laughs> I started to lose money and we had um, some tortoises that were kind of um cooped up there so i just quickly threw together this um uh tortoise hut and again we were kind of strapped for cash a little bit surprisingly um so yeah i threw the tortoises in, and they saved the day they they started to make us money and as you can see we were, we're back up to 20 grand and making usually a decent amount of money except for right now of course when i want to show it off um but they're, they're not going to stay there they are going to stay in the zoo but they're not going to stay there they were just put there um for money's sake so but for future plans i've set it up here where again this is going to be almost our main hub this is going to be the main um attraction of the zoo i want to say you know all those different animals um, within under one roof um i wish we had the chimpanzees and more primates because i would totally put more in there and redesign it differently anyways um, but I want to do it where we can expand out this way this way and then this way we can get you know one two maybe th um, three big areas we can even expand it to four or five if we want to but we do only have what six or five five or six days left with the beta sad news bears what the heck are we gonna do after that oh yeah wait for a month and then we'll do it all over again <laughs> so um, but yeah we're gonna go out this way this way and this way I have ideas for animals in mind being um, like grizzly bears um, an African savanna um, entire area um, and then maybe like a wild card but I don't know what do you think what kind of animals should we, should we do specific animals or should we break it down and try and um, squeeze in like areas so we can do like a North American area with uh, timber wolves and grizzly bears an African savanna area with one big you know like maybe an elephant enclosure and then like an actual savanna and then you know maybe a wild card area over here not too sure um, but that's where you all find folks come in so what do you think of the ideas should we do areas should we do animal specifics what should go over here I'm throwing it to you all. What do you think? So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and sign off there. If this is your first time hanging out with us here, don't forget the uh, subscribe button there so you can stay up to date with all the uh, new fun videos that we have coming out there. And uh, also, if this is, uh, and also don't forget the uh, like button there as well as it helps out the video immensely. It really, really does and helps out the channel a lot. So, and also, hey, big thanks also. Uh, we had a thousand subscribers, which that's nuts. So, that's, that's crazy sauce there. So, thanks to everyone who's, you know, ever stopped by a video. If you uh, have made it this far, thanks for, you know, sticking around the video this long as a uh, uh, watch time and listen time does help out the uh, channel as well so but no big thanks to uh, everyone that's hit subscribe and uh you know big plans for the uh, future of the uh, channel there we're gonna you know uh, hit planet zoo um running and everything like that and hopefully you know big big stuff for the channel in the future there so but again thanks so much to everyone that has uh you know hit subscribe and uh has hung out for a video or two or whatever so um but uh yeah i'm gonna get out of here enough jabbing on your ears and uh yeah y'all have a good one and until the next episode of thornton zoo. We'll see you then.